This is Narva, NATO's most sensitive border on the edge of Estonia and Russia. Away from the politics of Russian aggression, more than 100 European soldiers preparing for 48 hours of sleep deprivation, blisters, hunger and fatigue. I'm from Latvia, our team is from Latvia, and we are used to winter. We have undergone some winter survival courses, so we are used to this weather and we are ready. I'm feeling uh, like waiting for a nice adventure and nice challenge. Um, I'm feeling strong. Now I'm with my team and they are all also prepared and uh, ready to go. In a matter of hours, the Estonian competition, Exercise Utria Patrol, begins. This year, soldiers from the Royal Welsh are hoping they'll be the first British contingent to finish Utria Patrol, something the UK Army is yet to achieve. How are you feeling? Um, good, yeah, we've just sort of uh, arrived. Everyone's in uh, good spirits. It's nice to see uh, all the other teams sort of eyeing up the competition. Um, we just had a kit check. Everything's gone fine on that. We've had everything that was required. Um, so, so far, so good. It's notorious among the Baltic states for being one of the toughest patrols out there. <laughs> Send the morale. The terrain here is an extreme, extremely hard to move in because the woods are not tended like they are in Sweden or in, uh, in England. It's uh, still wet in the woods. There are many marshes, swamps, bogs here. So you have to be a good map reader to uh, move the best way, so to say. And they also have some 70 kilometers as the bird flies to move during yeah. these two, basically 48 hours. So it's uh, physically very hard too. They'll set off in 10 minute intervals before marching through the night in biting temperatures. Yes, it's hard, and the worst part is uh, uh, that we don't have enough time to sleep. So maybe maybe one hour or so altogether. Yeah, it's my first time. Uh, I'm kind of uh, mixed uh, feelings. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it, and and also I'm a little bit scared because no sleep and uh, lack of energy will be bad. Whenever we are ready. Okay. Challenges are set along the way, like changing a tyre of a military vehicle in the dark and under enemy fire. The competition is so tense, our cameras weren't allowed to film the night challenges for fear of our lights giving an unfair advantage. Across the two days, the soldiers will cover more than 60 miles on foot. Teams have entered from several nations, including Latvia, Poland and Finland. Utra, Papskumen. Yes, the Estonians are very good. Very good. <laughs> OK, that's good. We had to change the uh, big truck uh, tire, and we were like under enemy fire and everything. We had to do, like, we had like a uh, tactical situation, so that was pretty fun. It's not long before bad news comes in from the Brits. Two of the team have taken injuries and they're forced to pull out. We couldn't carry on, but the safety uh, of my guys would, is paramount and comes first over the, over the competition. We had a uh, minimum sort of training for this, so you know the injuries that we picked up. You know, it was just unfortunate and we, we dealt with it as we could, but unfortunately it meant that the, the two lads uh, had to get withdrawn from the competition. From my experience, if I have seen these British teams that we have, they do it by the book as they are trained to do. And uh, that has not been a success story, actually, not in the competition. It's a different thing if you do it for real, so to say. They went out with regulation equipment and they carried basically houses on their backs. Uh, and it was done by the book. For the other teams, the competition continues. 
Another night in the field before the final assault takes every last ounce of energy. The finish line in sight, the teams drag themselves up the hill. Yeah, yeah.